Good afternoon, you guys. So this is my special project that I've been talking about and hopefully it goes according to plan. So I'm going to take some resin uh, along with uh, powdered pigments that I mix in the resin and I will be listing the colors in the description. I'm going to try to go over the colors very quickly. I already mixed them so that you wouldn't have to watch me mixing them. So let me show you the first one. Let's see, it's a copper. It's a antique copper, and this is by Pearl X. So it's an antique copper. I don't know if you can see, but this is what it looks like. Next one is a blue russet, and this color reminds me of a berry. Next one is the gold. It's Aztec gold. This one is duo violet brass. This one is spring green. And I just got these from Michaels. This next one is turquoise. And the last one that I'll be using is Antique Silver. Okay, so I've already mixed them up. Let's get started. What I want to try to do is build up the resin here. So I'm going to be making a resin moss art. So that's what I'm going to try to do today. Let's see if it works. I poured up more copper than gold. So what I'm going to try to do is make my trim in copper. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just want it to go around the edges uh, to create a copper look. So I have more copper than I have gold. And it can run down the edges because I just, I want it to create the look on the trim. And hopefully you guys can see this because I have to move it up. And so all I'm doing now is just trying to see if I can get it around the edge. I don't want to have to come back to do it. So I'm just going to try to get this around the edge so I can create me a copper trim. The look of a copper trim anyway. And this bottom part is going to be covered in moss. So you won't see the drips on the bottom part. Now the top part, I'm not sure. I'm going to pour the resin there. So it looks like I've used all of my copper trying to do this trim so it's not going to be in the piece I was going to put it in the piece but since I use all of it for the sake of time I don't want to have to mix anymore it's not going to be in the piece And I just put that tape there to try to stop the resin from coming all the way down because this is where my moss is going to be. So I'm just trying to create a separation point. don't know if it's going to work. I want you to have to watch me do this. Let me try to get it worked in. 
and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, let's get back to it. I uh, covered it as much as I could with that copper edge. And as you can see, I tried to spread it inside uh, the rest of the copper so it would be, you know, a part of it because I didn't have much left. So I'm just going to go with it. And basically, this is my first time doing this, so I don't know what it's going to turn out like. I know what I want it to look like, but we're going to learn this together. So I don't have a specific order I want to do it in. And I didn't really know how I wanted to apply it because I didn't know what the finished look was going to look like. And this resin is starting to heat up, so let's go. So I'm just going to kind of pour this along the edge. Have a little bit more blue if we need to come back to it. Let's throw a little bit of that berry color in there. Then I'm going to try the antique silver. And I may end up having to make some more resin. Hopefully I don't. And do the green. So I kind of wanted to build it up a little bit. And I may just, after it cures a little bit, go back over it with some clear resin. I don't know about the orientation of this. I'm not for sure what it's going to turn out like. have a little bit of the colors left over though it's a little bit wow that uh blue violet you guys, I'm so sorry my video went out and I had no idea. It went out before I started blowing it with the blow dryer, which mixed the colors. It made the colors merge together. And I like this much more than the orientation it had before I started with the blow dryer. As you can see, that's at the top half. And so this bottom part, I've removed the tape as well because I didn't want tape to get stuck there and then start taking off my resin after it dried, well, cured some. So I went ahead and took the tape off and I just uh, smeared what paint I had left in the bottom there because it's going to be covered anyway. Like I was saying, that will be uh, covered with moss. And I'm just determined, um, just trying to determine whether I want to wait or go ahead and start putting my moss on there. So... I may start putting the moss on there and then going back and filling in some more resin, but I'm not sure. Let's try putting some moss on there. So I have this tacky glue here, and I'm going to try to use this. Um, I don't know where my E6000 is, but this worked pretty good on one that I added a back to to be able to hang. So it seems to be pretty good. I'm going to try to use that. I have different colors of moss, and what I'm going to do is just 
uh, you know, put them in certain spots and see how they look and go from there. I'm going to just try to mix it up. Okay, so I'm just going to try to put the glue in certain spots. Really, I'm just going to put the glue on there. And I'm going to see how that works first. The first color moss that I'm going to try is the purple. Let's see. Let's find a spot for the purple. And the moss is natural, so it, it always has some sticks in it. And, and this resin is still, you know, not cured. So I'm going to try not to get this stuff all over the place. And then I'm going to just go in there with some blue. Try to put next to it. Okay, you guys. Of course, I've made some mistakes because I did not let my resin dry. <laughs> Which I should have, so don't do that. Um, the next time I will let it dry because you know, once the stuff gets in the resin and it's trying to cure, it's hard to get it out. Then you make mistakes, then you can see those problems. So I just played with it to get it to the way I like. Um, I didn't want to put too much on it, and I kind of liked it leaving some of that copper exposed. So, and then that little bit of gold that mixed in with it, I really like that. I really like that gold that mixed in it there. And, you know, just like I was saying, my video cut off. I apologize. And it showed where I blew the colors um, with the blow dryer. And when I blew them, they merged together. So they created that look that you see here where it looks like it's merged much better than what it was. I am going to let it dry. I don't think that I'm going to add any more resin. I'm just going to let it dry and leave it alone. I will be adding something to the back in order to hang it. So that's it, you guys. I will be doing another one. So we will be doing another one of these projects. I just love moss art. And I will be showing you something else I did with moss art. So see you next time.